Hey guys, so this is another Hutsu Summon video, and this time around, two of them I've actually ignored right off the bat, not even summoned once, so I'm gonna try to get them in that situation. I already actually made the video of, of me trying to get one of these two heroes, and I'll be releasing it later on today. So let's talk about real quick for Aurora. Aurora, I, I still think that she's a pretty awesome hero, uh, and she is a realm hero, a team realm hero. Uh, but the thing is with, with her ability, if she's on defense, if any enemy has an enemy realm user, uh, she's pretty much done in that situation. Unless you have a second strategy to make her go off a lot. So she is going to need Alia in, in some situations. She is going to need Molly. Molly and her together are pretty disgusting combo. I don't know why more people haven't actually tried to, to use that combo even more. But her and Molly together is pretty disgusting. She goes off a bunch of times. And um, if Ali is it's in the mix, she's gonna she's gonna get healed all the time. So it doesn't matter if she's um, she's in different awakenings here. Uh, I still think that she she actually if, if the, the Molly and Aurora combo is so strong, uh, you're not gonna need really high awakenings, but you are gonna need plus one for sure. Cause uh, like every single realm here in this entire freaking game, you do need to have your realm go off right off the bat to be actually competitive versus other uh, realm enemies there in that situation uh so this part about uh, getting mana is not so great so it's definitely her plus one is her sweet spot however this plus five is what actually makes her like yeah like wow this plus five is super powerful giving shields like crazy damage sure right off the bat it, it's pretty freaking powerful but that that's the problem with some of these heroes um to make them really powerful you need to get them plus five and Aurora is one of them, sadly. At plus one, she's okay, but it's, she's not, like, groundbreaking and things like that. If you manage to get it to plus five, I mean, congratulations. That is freaking amazing. You got an amazing hero. Very powerful. However, I'm going to say uh, it, she's not a must-have simply because she's... This, to, she needs to get her plus five to be a, a super competitive and powerful hero in this case. So yeah, not a lot of people will be able to get her to plus five, and <laughs> including myself, yeah, lo lots of problem getting heroes to plus five. So yeah, uh, but still, um, if you go her path, she is not a bad hero. She's an amazing hero to actually defend your own team and gain a little bit of mana if you get her to plus three and all that good stuff. Very cool stuff, guys. Now, let's talk about Haroth. Haroth is another hero that I completely ignored. Completely ignored as well. Uh, just like Aurora. But can you blame me? When he was released, uh, the guy didn't do any damage. He was just producing shields. And nah, he wasn't doing any damage. Then after a few weeks, the developers decided to freaking buff him. Like nuts. And I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I should have got this hero. Uh, yeah, and and he's still causing a lot of problems with everybody. With everybody, this hero is like insane. His his little his little hammer power is so disgusting. It's not even funny. So definitely, um, his plus one. He, you de definitely need him to have this plus one if you want him to get on defense, because uh, he's going to be able to revive, and it's going to be for three turns. And uh, this this whole. Um, Defense penetration, skill damage, and all the good stuff. Uh, it's just going to be 20%, so it's not too crazy. But the mortality thing is very important for him to be actually uh, competitive, and especially on defense. So he really needs his plus one for sure. So there's another thing here. Every single time that I that I fight Haroth, ha ha specifically Haroth uh, and and Thor, those two together, I always notice. Oh my God, th th these heroes are so beefy. How how in the world these heroes are so beefy? And that's because this buff for fifty percent base attack and defense, and also Thor's also has this exact same thing: fifty percent attack and defense for base defense. Both of them together, that's going to be a hundred percent attack and defense, and your entire team get be just all of a sudden becomes really freaking beefy so yeah the, the, the this plus three is pretty awesome as i said this plus one you have to have it for if you want to use Haroth. but this plus three with thor's plus uh plus three if i'm not mistaken 
is pretty pretty freaking powerful as well. So yeah, for sure. I if I get Haroth and I plan to use him, I definitely need to have this plus three for, at least for sure. And this plus five. If you were <laughs> If you thought a uh, little hammer power or Matillito power uh, was awesome, this upgrades it so much. Oh my god, the, the damage is so disgusting. I, I've, I've played this guy with plus five, and just this, the little, the little hammers destroy almost any opponent that I fight with. I just activate everybody and this little hammer, boom, 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 boom. Especially if you have two in war, because once you actually hit hit with, with all the skills, the little hammers continue hitting after after all that. So most of the time, it is going to reach the, 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 the life of the enemy, and sooner or later, it's going to die. So it, it is pretty freaking powerful. And of course, uh, if that wasn't enough, that would actually give the he gives immunity for three turns for stun sleep and all that good stuff so yeah this is super super powerful for lots of red strategies actually so yeah very powerful stuff very scary hero for sure now <laughs> yeah so i after i said that he's not a must-have I'm, I'm gonna have to say that he is a must-have now after he got freaking buff because his 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 little hammer power is no joke guys it's it's not even funny he he, he ever since he has buff he has terrorized terrorized a lot of people and war and all that good stuff so yeah very powerful hero and if you get him to plus five this plus five yeah that's really freaking scary as i said plus one for sure plus three if you if you have an a thor and w w with that buff as well it's a really really powerful combination for sure and of course the plus five is pretty freaking disgusting it's not even funny but the good thing about this hero is that you can play him at plus one and he'll still do a decent amount of damage with his little hammers uh protect your team he's still gonna get the man again he's still gonna get every everything from from his from his uh creating shields thing stacks so yeah he's a really powerful hero very nice hero for sure guys and last, I wish I could say not least, but Poseidon. Poseidon, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with Poseidon's survivability uh, power. There is no hero in entire freaking game that has his survivability abilities, for sure. Uh, and the, but the thing is that the problem that he has is damage specifically. If he does not fight an enemy that is multi-hit, that hits him over and over and over again, like many times, like Thor, he's not going to do a lot of damage. But still, uh, his ability to survive Gillian. Gillian is like, yeah, Gillian is the game changer of game changers in this game. So that could be a motivation for you. If you're a high level player, it probably could be a motivation for you. Because the only teams that actually beat, beat this guy is red teams, uh, high level yellow teams, and maybe him. Because I've seen blue teams uh, destroying red teams with this guy. So that that is a really powerful advantage so if you did get this hero don't fret he if you find a way to actually make him do more damage or fight against enemies that do multi-hit like thor and things like that he's gonna do a lot of uh, a lot of work for you a lot of work so anyhow for sure he needs to if you plan to get poseidon you need to get him a plus one this plus one i mean yeah even even when he gets to 20 stats he gets 100 percent mana so yeah for sure, guys, this pl and and always, always getting those four stacks every single turn is game changer for him because he'll be able to actually get those stacks over and over and over and not have any problems of surviving, surviving all, all those terrible enemies in that situation. Very powerful stuff, guys. The plus three, uh, this guarantees that, that this guy is going to be freaking immortal pretty much in that situation because he's going to reduce. But the main thing is that he'll be able to counter attack by 100%. So if you want to use him as a counter hero, you do need to have this plus three in that situation. And finally, this guarantees, this is the guarantee of the guarantee that he's going to be freaking immortal. Because, I mean, look at this. Self HP will not fall below, below 50%. No hero in the entire freaking game has this. And this is pretty freaking disgusting and pretty impressive, if I might add, in that situation. So, very powerful stuff, guys, for sure. Uh, the, but the thing is with Poseidon is that I've noticed that uh, he is he's, he's a hero that depends so much on his awakening 
awakenings. He needs his plus one. He needs the plus three to be able to reduce damage even more and counterattack even better. And he needs a plus five to be freaking immortal. I mean, all, like every single time, he's going to be the very last hero to actually die every single time if you have one plus five in that situation. So that's the biggest biggest problem with him. You need to get this guy at a high level. If you get him plus zero, plus one, you may not be too happy with him in that situation. Uh, however, if you do get him, try to get him uh, uh, an attack weapon and combine him with another hero. That um, uh, let, let me let me explain. Uh, Lupita's weapon, 60% crit chance, and then get another hero that it can actually give him 30% crit chance and 60% crit damage. I'm confident that in that combination, he'll be able to do a lot of damage, even if he's plus one. I think he's going to be able to do a lot more damage in that in that situation. But you, you really need to have that hero with, with those buffs. Gwendolyn is one of those, and she is must-haves. <laughs> must-haves, hero. So, if you get Gwendolyn at plus five, and you have this at plus one, maybe you could do a lot of damage with the, with a Lupita's weapon? Most likely, for sure, because, I mean, that combination has worked so, so many times for me. It may work for him in that situation, when he actually does skill damage, specifically. Now... Let's talk about the four stars, and we actually have really, really good um, options here. Like, for example, Carson. Carson is, is one of the best tank heroes in the game for four stars, for sure. He's pretty powerful. He'll be able to do so many things. Uh, this guy is one of the few four stars that's actually mortal. Like, uh, for example, he's there for, da -da -da, for HP for five turns. Take me one. Damn, five turns for, for, for immortality. You don't see that every day. Usually you see three. Uh, da -da -da, defense. And, of course, the debuff. Yeah, so just by having plus one, you'll be noticing this guy's really hard to kill. So he's really, really, really powerful. Did I read that right? Five freaking turns. My God, five turns. That is sick, man. That is really freaking powerful. Carson, you're a beast, man. Very powerful stuff. And Salome, Salome is not really powerful. Um, I mean, not really popular, I would say. She is powerful because she is one of the very, very few healers in the color red. So just because of that, I use her in my second red team. Because I, and I usually when I played red, I try to actually add in a lot of healing uh, in that situation. So if you want a healer. Uh, and it's a four star for red. This is it. This is the only thing you're gonna have as a healer on the game. So yeah, if you want a healer, you definitely need to have her for sure in that situation. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, cast receive twenty percent HP when for three turns. When, oh, not bad, not bad at all for shields. That that's gonna protect her. And uh, she did uh, restore da -da -da, and she's going to get mana fast in that situation. So that's really cool. So if you do get her, uh, it's because you really want a, a red healer for your team, for red team, for sure. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Now, talking about healers, Cassandra is bar none one of the best healers in the entire freaking game and she's a freaking four star and the main reason is that she's very fast she's a very fast healer that heals by 43 percent so that is really freaking powerful and if you and, and if you use her weapon awaken she's gonna get less overload in that situation so yeah she becomes really scary really fast with her weapon awaken and she's a team and she's in a team with a hero that removes overload she is going to be even more devastating and in, in terms of healing so yeah very very powerful hero for sure uh same protection for shields 20 percent and uh the the usual dwarf abilities actually get extra stacks so her awakenings are not like groundbreaking however her ability alone i mean it's <laughs> i've been using cassandra ever since the game started and i still think that she's a really really powerful hero for sure so if you're playing blue and you don't have alia with her weapons awakenings you uh, cassandra for you is a must-have by far, for sure. Now, Bedebeer, Bedebeer is pretty cool. Uh, the problem that he's always had is Palmyra. Palmyra has been destroying this guy for days ever since she was released. So, yeah, a lot of people have not used them because of that. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have extra stuff because he does have his weapon awakening. And he is able to revive and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, 
he, he's he, at this point he's become really uh, a lot more powerful and a lot more resistant to Palmyra. But that doesn't mean Palmyra will not destroy him. But still, Bedivere outside of Palmyra, he's a really powerful hero, a really powerful red tank actually. In that situation, so he's really really powerful. Uh, increases defense, that's really nice. And buff duration increases buff duration by one turn, so that's cool. So if you get him wake him, uh, for sure, that's gonna help him. But do get his weapon, do get him at plus the weapon at plus three. It's gonna help you a lot, guys. Trust me, he's he's a really nice hero for sure. All right, and last but not least, the two last combos. Let's talk about Vita right right here. Uh, Vita raises defense. She doesn't do a lot of damage. Not recommended, sadly. Her awakenings, uh, uh, she gets a little bit more mana, but yeah, to get more defense, mm, no. I can't recommend Vita. Um, she's never been good, and she's still not good, guys. Sorry. But Ask and Emblem, on the other hand, these guys are freaking monsters. Absolute monsters. Uh, the, the ability to buff on red, uh, yeah, it's, Th these guys are freaking amazing. Uh, if you don't have Surtur in red, you need to have Ask and Emblem on your team. They're gonna raise the the the, the attack on your on your red uh, heroes in that situation. Uh, do make sure yeah. to activate them first, and then activate your other heroes because every single turn that passes, that that buff goes lower and lower. So yeah, that is something you definitely need to take into account. And check this out, they actually get, get extra crit chance when casting the skill, ironically, and raise the attack and, and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, you it, as I said, if you don't have to her, you have to get As Asking Embla. So many heroes get buffed and destroy enemies, and for a four star doing this, it's pretty, pretty freaking amazing. Very powerful heroes for sure. Now, out of the five stars, um, who of these is the number one hero that I recommend you to get? I mean, after everything that I explained, this is the guy that you have, that's the number one for sure. This guy at plus one is disgusting. A plus three is disgusting. At plus five, it's uh, yeah, it's it's game breaking stuff. So with the damage, so yeah, Haroth, Haroth needs to be gone, gone for sure. This is my number one recommendation for sure. This guy does so much damage, protects your team, revives, removes uh, stuns. Oh my god, so many things. It's it's not even funny. And he's one of the two heroes that you combine with Gillian to actually destroy your enemy. And that is Agony. Agony is one of them, and Haroth. Uh, if you don't have Agony, you have to have a powerful Haroth. So when your Gillian goes off, Haroth comes in and destroys those two green targets. So yeah, Haroth is definitely a must-have if you want to actually do a powerful red team in that situation. Most of the red teams that I fight and I have problems with, it's because they have a, uh, a powerful Haroth in their team. It's really pretty scary. Very freaking powerful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Haroth is no joke, guys. For sure. Especially if you don't have Agony, you have to have Har Haroth. For sure. Very powerful hero. The second option is going to be Aurora. Uh, I've, I've never been a huge fan of Aurora, but between these options, I think Aurora is, is she's still a realm hero. She does come off very nice with Molly. Uh, if, she, if you get her to plus five, she is pretty freaking disgusting. I mean, yeah, really freaking scary, and uh, uh, to be honest, if you don't have a, if your if your enemy realm user dies, and Aurora is is still in 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 the board, you're done, pretty much you're done. It, yeah, it, you're you're pretty much done if she's plus five and really powerful, and if she, and if there's a Molly and there's an Alia, that's it. She she is that disgusting, that powerful in that situation. Very, very powerful hero in that situation. But if she's not plus five, she's not going to be so crazy. But she is still going to be an amazing hero because she is a Rome hero. So we need Rome heroes all the time. All the time. 24 7, guys. And last, Poseidon. Sadly, until I see actually Poseidon doing a lot of damage, I can't really uh, tell you to actually summon him in that situation. But I know that there's going to be brave souls that are going to prove me wrong in this situation. Someday, Poseidon will be a very powerful hero. I know he will. I know he will for sure. Very powerful stuff. 
for uh, survivability specifically, he's pretty pretty sick in survivability. Uh, he does do a lot of damage with with uh, counter attack, and we get hits many times. But he's gonna need his plus three, and yeah, that's forcing people to actually wake him even higher. So yeah, not good in that situation. But hopefully, uh, we actually can see beside him in a Vera line in the future. Now, for the four stars, uh, we d actually got really good options here in this situation. But I would say that the absolute best one in that situation is, oh my god, Cassandra or Askinebla. Man, I'm going to go for Cassandra, guys. I mean, Cassandra, you can use her anywhere on the attack. On defense, she is going to be a very fast healer all the time. It's pretty freaking disgusting. In many situations, you're going to need to kill Cassandra first, because if not, she's going to keep healing your your team over and over again. So, yeah, it, that, that, that includes on defense and on the attack. That's what that's the main reason why I went for Cassandra, because you're able to use her on defense. But asking them blood on the attack is pretty freaking amazing. So that's my second option in that situation. Not good on defense, but amazing, amazing on the attack. It's pretty freaking disgusting. Alden, if there's still Alden teams out there, you have to have an Ask and Embla right next to your Alden all the time, 24-7. Very powerful stuff, guys. For sure. And my third option, uh, of course, oh, my God, Bedivere and Carson. Oh, my God. I'm going to say Bedivere in that situation because he did carry his awaken, weapon awaken, and he does have so many more abilities than Carson. But, I mean, any one of these two heroes are going to be freaking amazing. Carson reviving. Oh, my God. It's pretty awesome. And this guy taunting. And, yeah, he's pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, very powerful heroes for sure. But I'm going to for better beer because he does have really powerful abilities with his awakenings uh, for his weapon for sure. I hope they actually make uh, his weapon awakening for Carson because Carson is pretty amazing too. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.